Military veterans come home from war, but often it's hard to leave the war behind. One vet has found the best way to move forward is to take something from the war and create something new. CBS 5 photojournalist Brian Ewan introduces us to a man who went from warrior to artist, from battlefield to workshop, and is now turning uniforms into pulp. My name is Drew Cameron. I'm a veteran of the U.S. Army, and I was a field artillery soldier enlisted. I was stationed in Fort Sill, Oklahoma, and sent as part of the second wave of the invasion of Iraq. I came back from war, and everything prior to that was no longer really relevant. My whole worldview and perspective and my emotional state and all that stuff kind of fell out. You know, the floor dropped, so to speak. So it was rebuilding. And part of that rebuilding for me has been hand paper making. So we got our batch. To take that uniform, that association, that memory, that personal component of it and, yeah, redefine it, reinterpret it. So some folks carry the intention of having it being this releasing or catharsis, and some folks it certainly has the capacity to be that. That's the one thing I think I struggle with is how to give this fiber, you know, a proper commemoration. A lot of those memories were very difficult to verbalize. And so creative art practice and hand paper making specifically for me has helped to develop a language where I can speak to a lot of the military culture experiences and wartime experiences as well as you know the experiences with all of the people who are who share that sacrifice and share that connection. But there are a lot of stories in the fibers. Well, Combat Paper is open to the public Tuesday through Saturday at Southern Exposure in San Francisco. You are also invited to create your own natural fiber or military combat paper. We have details at CBSSF.com. Just click on links and numbers.